Welcome to episode 12 of the Introduction to React series. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jaher on Twitter, and this is Blue Collar Coder. So in the previous video, we used something built in to React called Use Reducer. And that is actually really close to a system called Redux, which is a state manager that's very popular in the React community. And so what we're gonna do in this episode is we're going to port our existing React Use Reducer application to a Redux application so you can see how that works. All right, let's go jump into the code. Okay, where we left it off was that we used Use Reducer instead of Use State. So now we're using Use Reducer in combination with Use Context. But there's an interesting history here. The Use Reducer hook actually came in after a system called Redux got really popular. And so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually port our use reducer to Redux and see how that looks. So the first thing we need to do is add Redux and React Redux. Redux itself is a generic framework for managing state. In order to connect it to a React app, we use the React Redux package that has a provider and some handy hooks that allow you to easily pass your store around and then dispatch to it and get the state. Let's start it up again. Obviously, still working. So the first thing we're going to need to do is change our React reducer to one that's compatible with Redux. And the only difference is that you return the state as default in a Redux reducer. We're also going to set the initial state up here. Pokemon as an empty array, filter as an empty string, and, and select a Pokemon as null. Next, we need to import create store from Redux and provider from React Redux. So let's go build our store. So you're gonna say const store equals create store and then give it our reducer. Pretty easy. So now we have our, our store and now we're gonna take out the Pokemon context provider. And instead of just changing out our Pokemon context provider with the Redux provider, we're actually going to go and change out the default export. And the reason for that is that the app component itself is going to need the store. So it can't both need and provide the store. So let's go change out the default to a function. And then wrap it in a provider with the store. Looks good. So now we need to import use selector and use dispatch. And these are two helper hooks for Redux apps. So we're going to remove the use reducer and then get the dispatch from use dispatch and get Pokemon from use selector. And use selector takes a function that takes state and then returns whatever you want off of it. So in this case, state.pokemon. So let's tweak that conditional. And now in the React use effect, that dispatch remains the same, which is very really nice, actually. We can get rid of the Pokemon context import. Don't need that. And then delete that file. Next, let's go and fix Pokemon table. So we'll remove the context. And then go grab the use dispatch and use selector from app.js.
we needed Pokemon, so we got that. So let's go and add one more for filter. So copy and paste that and then change out filter. Now remove the use context. And the last thing we need to do is do the import. Let's go grab that, bring it in, and we don't need the provider. Okay, so now Pokemon table is ported. Let's head on over to Pokemon filter. Paste in the code. All we need is filter, so we can just remove that. Remove the context. And then remove the use context. And then the context import. And then bring in the import. All right, looking good. Next thing to do is tweak Pokemon info. This time we need selected Pokemon. And we're just removing the context and then remove everything we don't need. And finally do the import. Okay, really good, really clean. And now it works, that's awesome. So we've successfully ported an app from Use Reducer to Redux in just a few minutes. So Redux is a lot to take in, and I totally understand that. So there are great videos and resources on Egghead and other places on YouTube that you can do, go to really dig into Redux. I will say, that Redux is kind of falling out of favor, but there's so many applications that are using Redux that it's worth understanding how that works. All right, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those in the comment section down below. I'm always up for that. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you really like this video series, be sure to subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified anytime another one of these videos comes out. We've also got a lot of great resources for you. There's our Discord server where you can come and chat with us. There's our newsletter that comes out every week. And of course, as I always say, just be happy, be healthy, and be safe.